Hello folks and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be talking about automatic wallpaper changer. Something that you can actually bring in your own photos or wallpapers and kind of use this tool to mix it in with wallpapers coming off the internet. It's a nice distraction to have if you like to see different wallpapers. So anyways folks this is Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop and I'll say welcome. Uh, this you this is a video generated really for all users um, whether you are new to Linux Mint and if you are special welcome to you but generally I'm going to just talk about wallpapers and uh, my video will be more than two minutes I do have uh, timelines or chapters on all my videos if you're curious now I'm going to close this screen and talk about a tool that uh, you can get from your software store called Variety so we'll first stop there and I will uh, use the search feature. So it's this tool right here. In other words, a program or application, a wallpaper changer. Okay, It's fairly small, easy to install, and more importantly, it does a lot of things. And you can actually use it in conjunction with your standard wallpapers that you created um, using uh, the Linux Mint wallpapers that kind of thing and this can be paused at any time so let me talk about this tool by opening this up for a second so this is called variety I've been using this particular thing for a long time and in a lot of Linux distributions it has a lot of options I'll talk about uh, configuration how to use this thing and basically try to just keep the um, the discussion on simple settings so let me open up the preference box. All right, first of all, um, after you install it, you will get the option to have it launch when you, um, or uh, have it run when you log in, which in my case is the case here. I also have this paused currently. And uh, I am also gonna show you how to add your own folder to the mix. So right now I have changed wallpaper every five minutes in this case. I could choose five seconds, minutes, hours, and days. So depending on what I select or deselect, you can do all kinds of things. So stuff coming from Flickr, NASA, Bing are some of the examples. So as you let this thing run, it starts building up pictures. So I'm gonna use this horse wallpaper for my first example. And then I'm gonna close this box down for a second and actually hit close here also. So if you're curious about that photo, for instance, you just click that and view at Bing. So this is obviously coming off the internet. Let me get rid of the privacy notice part uh, that my web browser just updated. Anyways, this is uh, more about this photo. In this case, Icelandic horse, all kinds of different material here. This can be any photo really. So let me go back in here under preferences and pick something different. So if I pick this um, photo here and close that and close that and you're doing some work in the background, let's say you're doing something with your file manager or whatever, you see this nice photo pop up, you can go, huh, wonder where that's from. Well, you can view it at Bing. Oh, this is... Uh, even gives me a map to where this is at in this case is from Hawaii. So there's a lot of variety, no pun intended, that you can uh, do with this particular application. What if I don't want to use the wallpaper currently and I want to switch back to the Linux Mint one? Well you can just pause on current or you can go to the preference box and uncheck that box, walk over and right click on your screen and go to the Linux Mint logo for instance and this will remain here until you unpause this another feature that I'll show in a second is a, a mouse rollover on this feature here but let me continue on this process I can deselect things also okay so if I were to let me uh, just give you an example of adding a folder so you can add your own folders up to 10,000 images and you can do multiple folders also. So let me close this down and let's talk about my file manager, Nemo. So 
in my file manager Nemo, I created a folder inside of my pictures folder called wallpaper. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to open this up. And hopefully you've seen my videos on how to do what I'm doing right now. Or you can just do it the old fashioned way. Scroll in and out. All right, so I have a lot of wallpaper here. I'm gonna hit the uh, space bar to give you an example of that butterfly and hit the space bar to close. And here's another weird example. Now I could set that as wallpaper, but I can take this whole folder and also create a uh, part of this mix. And I do have some strange stuff that came from wallpaperswide.com. You wanna see a bit bigger picture of it. Um, this just some dudes skate skateboarding in here. I also bring, uh, you can also bring in your own photos and dump them in a folder similar to this. And uh, I'll find one of the photos that I've taken here recently or fairly recently. And uh, basically give you an example of like that. Sure, you can create, I set this as wallpaper indi individually, but uh, it's just a waterfall, folks. And I took that uh, with a iPhone 12, for instance. I put all of these in, a folder doesn't matter what you call it and I'm going to use that folder now in this application or program called variety so I'm going to do add folder go find that folder in pictures and just hit add the whole folder not the individual uh, pictures now below here you'll probably see a little kind of a preview of what these look like and I can click on these manually and you can see what they are a lot of different ones but more importantly I added my own folder let's say I don't want to use any of the stuff off the internet so I would just disable these and now I'm only using my folder from Bob is my user my fictitious user for today and uh, I'll pull this over here so now I'm only using that subfolder and I can add another one and then I can manually change these or do something uh, another feature that a lot of people probably have never realized, but I'm going to close this down. I'm going to take my mouse pointer and I'm going to point it at this application. And I'm going to use my scroll wheel on my computer mouse to scroll forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. And you can also do this next and previous. I'm going to click this back up. And again, I can also right click, change desktop photo to the Linux Mint one. This is currently paused and it'll remain this way. I can also reactivate it by going to image, resume. Now I can also go, oh, well, where's it from? Well, in this case, it's coming from my own personal folder, obviously, the previous photo that is. Now, as I scroll up, I don't know where that's coming from, right click, Ah, it's still my own folder. Let me continue and find something off the internet. Not that one. And why is it not pulling any pictures off my internet? Ah, that's because I have it disabled. So let me turn that back on. Let me turn these features on. Do I want to use all of them or just some of them? That's my choice. That's my choice. Now that I have everything activated, I still paused. Then I can start scrolling again. Or I could do it the manual way. There's those uh, nice Icelandic horses. There's something from Linux Mint. And I'm uh, not sure where that's coming from, but we can view it at Bing. And that's Hawaii. Keep scrolling. Or I could do this manually, next or previous. And then I can also go down here to my own personal folder and pick some of my strange wallpaper. I can also go look to see what's in the buffer here for Bing, for instance, and go, ah, I like this one, or I like this one. There's some uh, cats sleeping in a tree there. <laughs> or I could go to a NASA picture of the day and see what that's holding up there and click on one of these kind of wallpapers and close all of that stuff down and let's click that and find out where this is coming from uh, NASA picture of the day well this is the moon but more importantly I can click different ones 
So if I wanted to just pick pictures from NASA of the day, I could uncheck all of these. So I'm not sure what that is. It looks kind of interesting. So I'm going to close that box, click that, and view at NASA. And I get more information about that particular, well, in this case, dark matter of the simulated universe. But you can see the variety, no pun intended, of this application. So again, I can start this back up by clicking that, and I can have this thing set for five seconds. And every five seconds, this is going to cycle through wallpaper. I'm taking my hand off the mouse and just letting this thing cycle. Whether it goes through the, all the different folders off the internet and your own pictures, that's all up to you, how you um, have this thing cycle. You can also pause this and leave that wallpaper. And that wallpaper is coming off of Bing. And I can see more information. This is coming from England. Click this over to here under Preferences. And again, I have Choices. It's on pause currently. So more reasonable will probably be in minutes, whether it's one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 hours, or days. Lots of different ways to configure this. I don't normally use these guys here. I just focus in on the general. And I do have mine set to start and then change. Or if I chose not to have it changed, then use the regular wallpaper. You have maybe seen some of my videos and you'll probably notice that symbol down there below, but I have it paused. That's how I'm achieving that because I use this quite often. And I have lots of, well, I have different wallpaper on my other system that I have pictures of my kids and places I've been in the world. I've got some of that in here. But more importantly, that folder is just a folder. It's just some place I threw in some wallpapers. And you can too. Again, if you want to resize that, you can. Uh, if you need larger scroll bars, you can go look for that video on my YouTube site. And uh, speaking of, I know a lot of folks don't like and don't understand how to subscribe possibly. Um, you need a Google account normally to do that with, but you can always bookmark. You can always bookmark my YouTube site. And you can also go and uh, put the at symbol inside of your search engine on your web browser. Put in at Linux for seniors, one word, and you can find my YouTube site that way. More importantly, you can do individual wallpaper or you can have this tool if you put a bunch of them in a folder and have this done for you. And you can add more subfolders, of course. So you have lots of choices. You can enable or disable stuff. If you just want your own folder, you know, you can uncheck all of these. You can also manually go through your folder and go, OK, I want that wallpaper right now. And I'm going to sit there and pause it. And this weird wallpaper will stay here. Even if I close that box, this will remain here the whole time until I decide to, well, reactivate it. And then I can take my mouse pointer and point it at this thing and scroll up and down with my mouse pointer to change the wallpaper also to a random. Or you can do this next or previous thing. Again, I can get an information box if it's coming from my non folders on my system it's coming off the internet normally you'll have stuff like that view at bing in this case and then i can see more information about this photo all right so basically variety is highly configurable you can use it you can pause it and uh, basically go right back to your you can uh, click on the image it says resume. That means this is paused or unchecked. And I can go to my standard Linux Mint wallpaper this way. I could also go to my regular folders. And uh, in this case, I'll say pictures, wallpaper, and go pick some like this butterfly and set that as wallpaper. And this will remain here. But as soon as I roll my mouse over this thing, it starts changing again. But it's not on automatic currently. It's still paused. But I manually changed that just briefly. See, now it's back on automatic resume. And every five minutes, this background will change. Or wallpaper. 
Okay, change desktop background is the same as wallpaper. Okay. Anyways, folks, you know, there's a lot of things you can uh, install as far as applications are concerned. This happens to be one of the ones that uh, I particularly care for, especially if I have photos of my, my kids or places I have been in the world to uh, do that kind of stuff. And you can always revert back to the standard wallpaper manually. Even with this thing running, you just pause it. That's all you need to do with that. On that note, folks, I will say thank you for watching. You folks have a wonderful day.